The Davidic covenant has ramifications for the church as well. Reading in Psalm 89 and verse 3, I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn to David my servant. As we read in Isaiah 53, 3, God says, I will give you all the unfailing love I promised to David. Therefore, although this verse is specifically addressed to his chosen servant, David, it applies to all of his posterity, those who follow in the footsteps of the Creator. God says, I have made a covenant in regard to him, and the substance of the oath is stated in verse 4 of this psalm. God's promise in the covenant with David establishes the psalmist's confidence in God's compassion and truth that is found in the scrolls. The solemn oath with which was sworn to David, God's servant, is clearly stated in the next verse. It is a compilation of the promise made to Moses and given to David in 2 Samuel 7, 11 through 16. Verse 4 of 89 reads, I will establish your seed forever and build up your throne to all generations. Selah, that's a musical rest. Here he reiterates the very words of God using the word forever to emphasize assurance so that they so that the words remain with their ramifications and implications as a guarantee even beyond our own day. The psalmist uses a condensed version of the original covenant made to Moses and found in 1 Kings 2, 3 through 4. It reads, And keep your obligation to the Lord your God to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes, commands, ordinances, and decrees. This is written in the law of Moses so that you will have success in everything you do wherever you turn so that the Lord will carry out his promise that he made to me. If your sons are careful to walk faithfully before me with their whole mind and heart, you will never fail to have a man on the throne of Israel. The Hebrew word, Israel, is a symbolic name for Jacob and his posterity of Israel. Let's take a moment and also read the reference in, in the covenant. Uh, in 2 Samuel 7, 11 through 16, so that we may have firsthand knowledge of the scriptures. Ever since the day I ordered judges to be over my people Israel, I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord declares to you, the Lord himself will make a house for you. When your time comes and you rest with your fathers, I will raise up after you your descendant who will come from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He will build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be a father to him, and he will be a son to me. When he does wrong, I will discipline him with a human rod and with blows from others. But my faithful love will never leave him as I remove it from Saul. I removed him from your way. Your house and your kingdom will endure before me forever, and your throne will be established forever. References to the throne of David, of course, are prophetic of the Messiah and reach far into eternity. Let me ask you this. Have you made Jesus the king of your heart? 